Hi YouTube. Okay, this is an addendum to the my previous video that I just made about astrology of health and nutrition part two, the organ systems, because I forgot two organ systems. I don't know why. Um, I didn't write them down. I had written my notes down and and I didn't write those down, and I don't don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> getting started here, um, I'll just continue on. There's just two more organ systems. There's Venus. Venus rules the digestive system, and um, uh, and the reason that is is because Venus has a lot to do with transformation. Uh, it is the planet of transformation um, because in in Vedic astrology there's something called the Maraca houses and Maraca means death. So there are the death inflicting houses and those houses are the second house and the seventh house. And, um, they correspond to the second sign and the seventh sign and the second sign is Taurus and the seventh sign is Libra. Both of those are ruled by Venus. Those are both signs ruled by Venus. Um, and so death is obviously the, the most, the biggest transformation we make. And, um, so that's one reason. Another reason is in the Mahabharata, uh, it's this whole epic saga. Um, and Venus was, um, his name was, uh, Parashurama. That, that's his avatar. And he, Venus is the guru of the demons, uh, quote unquote, not demons that you think of in a Christian sense, you know, with a pitchfork and fire, but demons more like the Titans of the Greek myths, um, giants, you know, and, um, in the, uh, guru of the devas or the gods, the guru of the gods was Jupiter. And so the gods were obviously killing, the, always killing the demons. They were always at war with each other, and um, the gods would kill the demons, and uh, they were losing incredibly. So um, they they cried out to the gods and said, "This isn't fair," you know. So Venus became their guru, and Venus was given given the power to resurrect them. And that's a huge. Uh, that's a very. Um, insightful aspect of Venus. It, it's, it, uh, covers the whole, uh, entire meaning of Venus and what Venus rules. Uh, Venus rules healing therapy. It rules nurses. It rules, uh, beautification, you know, where you're transforming yourself. Um, and also Venus rules food and you can transform the body through your diet or your, you know, how you eat and your food. So, um, and also Venus has a, um, through, through another myth, Venus has a connection to killing. And obviously that has to do with the Maraca houses that I just mentioned, the second house and the seventh house or the second sign and the seventh sign, which are natural Venus houses. So in digestion, we take food and we transform it into energy for the body and then waste that, you know, we poop out or whatever. So um, that's why Venus rules the digestive system. And in that system, also, if Venus is afflicted, you're going to have problems with, um, with your digestion. And Venus with the sun, Venus with Saturn, Venus with one of the nodes. Um, you have to look for that in your birth chart. Or Venus debilitated, in, Venus in Virgo. And then Venus in... Um, conjoin the sixth house cusp, like I was mentioning in the first video, or the eighth house cusp. And so in, within that system, within the digestive system, Saturn rules the pancreas, Jupiter rules the stomach, uh, and the sun rules the throat, and Mercury rules the gallbladder. Okay. Now the next system is... Uh, is the muscular system, the muscular and lymph system. And sa that's the, r the realm of Saturn. And the reason Saturn rules that system is because that's what does the work. Saturn is the worker. He's the sh uh, Sudra, 
meaning he's the outcast worker person who, not the outcast, but the, the, the lowest of the low who does all the grunt work. And that's what our muscles do. And also, uh, Saturn always works with the sun. They always work together. The sun is the skeletal system, and Saturn is the muscular system. And even in, in Vedic astrology, in the, in the Vedic myths, Saturn is the sun of the sun. Um, and they don't like each other. Uh, there's a whole, there's a um, myth about that. And I'm going to talk about the myths in another video. Um, but these planetary familial relationships um, are very important to understand how these parts of ourselves work together. So when, um, when Saturn is with the sun, that's not a very good, it's not as bad as Saturn and Mars together, but it's, it's not that great for certain. So when, um, when Saturn is with the sun, that can harm the uh, muscular lymph, uh, lymphic system. Or when Saturn is with Rahu, or K2, which is the nodes of the moon. Or when Saturn is in Aries. Um, Aries is the debilitated position of Saturn. And you want to look for that debilitated position in the um, in the health chart that I, am, I have described below in the description how to calculate if Saturn is in Aries in that chart it's not very good for the skeletal or the muscular system uh, so or if Saturn is also joined with the uh, sixth house cusp in that horoscope or the eighth house cut cusp the eighth house is the house of breaks and um, and uh, accidents. And the sixth house is injury and disease. So that's why it would be, uh, it would be detrimental to be conjoined those cusps. So anyway, that's the end of that. <laughs> I, I forgot to put those two systems in, which are very important. So anyway, um, and that's all. And like I said, the next video will be about uh, the, will be the, um, the signs and what the sections of the body that they rule, and uh, and also how the the signs, the zodiac is actually the body of Kala Purusha, which is the time man or the time god, and that corresponds in the Western tra tradition with Adam Kadmon, which is the first man, you know, in the Gnostic uh, tradition. So, so anyway, that's coming up later or tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching.